We've been having a lot of fun testing out the different types of ammunition as far as the 308 saw points versus the polymer tip bullets. But now we want to test out something that's a little bit different as far as the expansion of the bullet. We're talking the saw points versus the hollow points. And we're talking about the 4570 lever action. Well, would you look at that? We got a bobcat out here chasing a pronghorn antelope. And there he is right there. It's going to be our first pronghorn with the 4570 and the hollow points. It's a little ways out there. But I do believe we could definitely make a shot. All right, let's see if we can't get him at about 150. Uh, 180 should do. Wow. Whew. Wow. I did not expect that to happen. Holy. First off, I thought we might have hit a little bit low in front shoulder. But to just drop him on the spot. That's impressive. All right, let's see how we did. Um, well, somehow we ended up getting a walking double lung shot at 180 yards. And it dropped him right on the spot. Got eyes on another pronghorn buck out there at about 150 yards. He's actually kind of trotting away from us here. And that shot had a lot of potential. Oh my God. He's already going down. There's no way we got lung and liver on that. We may have just gotten liver or we may have just gotten lung. But whatever we hit, took him down super quickly. All right, so it ran right through here. That's going to be a non-vital hit. So we actually did not get lung or liver. Honestly, wow. I mean, it went down so fast. The percentage dropped. And I've never seen a high bleed rate with, the, uh, with a non-vital hit before. So to me, that's kind of fascinating. And it goes to show you just how good or how impressive these hollow points from the 4570 lever action really are. All right, we got a bunch of white-tailed does right here. And we're going to just see. Wow. So I'm pretty sure that we got intestine on that second doe. The first doe we dropped right on the spot. I'm pretty sure we may have even gotten a heart shot. Either that or like low neck. Whatever it was, dropped this doe instantly. What? A single lung shot dropped this doe? That's incredible. 60 yards and a single lung shot dropped that doe. And this deer here was a non-vital hit. And it also didn't go 20 yards and fell over. But I'd say it probably would have only went maybe 10 yards further from that hit. Look at 85% from an intestine hit. 85%. All right, so we got fresh tracks from a coyote going onto this wide open valley down here. And I don't believe we can actually use a 4570 on him. Um, I'm going to check to see if we can once we spot this thing. But if we can't, we definitely do have the 22250 locked and loaded here. So that'll be pretty sweet. If we need to use that, we can definitely use that. And there it goes. There it goes. So we can use weapon class 2. Well, if it stopped out there, we may take a shot, actually. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. Let's see what happens here. All right. We're not going to get a shot off. That's a bit unfortunate. Holy. I am very glad we didn't get a shot off. I am very, very glad we did not get a shot off. There is a giant max weight mythical coyote out there at about 280 yards. Minimum estimate of 53, all the way up to 58. And I believe 
Uh, 57 is diamond, so I mean it's gonna be close. Although mythicals can't really make diamond, it's still a giant. So here's the thing: we're actually kind of high up here, shooting downwards, and that means we're gonna have a little bit of bullet rays. So I'm thinking we could probably just hold for 160 and hold right on. 280 right there. Might have a little bit of drop, but not a lot. So yeah, we'll definitely use the 22 to 50 here. And zero for 160 and... Do we have the soft points in actually? One oh seven. Verse 270. Yeah, we have the soft points in. So, oh, from this angle here, I'm almost wondering if we could go through and uh, penetrate through that shoulder. I feel like we should be able to. It's a good ways out there, though. It's a really good ways out there. Because, I mean, we're zeroed all the way in right now. Or I should say, we're zoomed all the way in, and it still looks very small. Ooh, pronghorn buck. We will definitely go back after him. Probably around here. Or maybe here. Uh, but anyways, let's check out this coyote out here. Uh, it should be there for quite a while. But the thing is... The angle there, I'm thinking we should probably go right between both front shoulders. Holy, why does it seem like such a far shot? Smoked him. And he's down. He is down. Now that was actually the saw points from the 22 to 50. So I do believe that's going to be our first shot we've taken with the saw points and the 22 to 50. And that's actually awesome because we've never done it before. And since we are kind of testing out different bullets, well, there we go. Not only that, this coyote is a freaking giant. But I mean, honestly, what a perfect spot for him to hide out. He's sitting right up in this brush here. You honestly can't see him until you're right up on top of him. And by that point, well, he could already see you and be gone. For instance, if we wouldn't have seen that small coyote, that five runner right here, we never would have slowed down. And that big coyote, the mythical, would have been long gone because he would have seen us and spooked. Oh, that actually may be the five. Take a better look at him. And there he is right there. All right, so our shot was a 280 yard left lung shot. And yeah, we hit right on the money. Ended up getting a perfectly centered lung shot there. 54.35 gold and 56 is diamond. So he was almost a diamond, a gray brown mythical. Boy, I really am excited for the day that the fur gets updated on the coyotes. And I feel like it's really, not necessarily the fur, but the whole entire model needs to get updated. First off, the legs are really long and it just, I don't know, it doesn't look the greatest, to be honest. The fur is obviously updated, but the model itself needs to get a uh, change, mostly because of like the face and the legs, in my opinion. But still, a giant coyote down with the 22 to 50 and the saw points. And a perfect, perfect shot. So I'm thinking from that angle there, if we had the polymer tips. I mean, I don't think we would have gotten double lung, to be honest. If we would have hit right here. We could have got double lung or potential heart. But yeah, that took him down super quick. Didn't drop him, but still took him down super, super quick. There goes our coyotes. Got a female calling right there. And some javelina as well. 
Ooh, I believe we could actually use the 4570 on the Havelina. Well, if they jump up, it's fair game. Got a bunch of coyote tracks here. So these coyotes should be right around this next bend. There's the Havelina. Alright, so they cut back left. They are less than 50 yards away from us. We're just trying to figure out which way they're going to go. What do we got over there now? Oh, Havelina! Havelinas, and we got coyotes right here. There they go. Look at a whole entire pack of them. right over you guys oh my god one shot rolled it right over where'd the other ones go wait there's stuff way out there is that really our coyote Avelina out there and coyotes out there holy they got way out there didn't they wow that's gonna be a far shot so the question is do we wait for them to slow down and take the shot, or do we wait for them to come back and try and take down the whole entire pack? Or potentially even get all these javelinas as well. But yeah, here's this coyote laying right here. Went for a Texas hard shot and he just tipped right over. What in the heck did we hit? Got him in the brain at 70 yards. Darkies, and of course we found that thing out there. That's a down potential gobbler out there, and we have nothing to take him down with except for the 22 to 50, which we can't use. All right, where might that gobbler be? Because he definitely should be right down there. And there is where he's going to be. All right, we got him. So he's roughly 150 yards. But he's not really in the open. Unless that's him there. That is him. But he's actually behind that little rock ledge. Why is he attentive? There's no way a bobcat is coming in right now. There's just, there's no way. Oh, wrong, wrong rifle. Uh, okay, there it is. There's our gobbler. Okay, so he is calm now. Uh, it's not quite a shot. It's almost a shot. Well, I guess it is. He's down. And here we go. Diamond Tom Turkey, 4.66. And we took him at 150 yards. Actually made a perfect spine shot. I'll take it. Very, very nice. 22.96 pounds. All right, we got some whitetail out here. And now I kind of want to test out some distance. We're going to go for uh, about a 200 yard shot and see what happens. I mean, yeah, we could maybe hit them at 300, but it's going to be super difficult. The only thing is we're only going to get one shot, so it's got to be perfect. And that's a giant buck as well. He's actually a guaranteed gold. Roughly 240 yards. I don't really know how much closer we can get to him, to be quite honest. But we're going to go for a broadside shot. From right here at 220 yards. Here we go. Oh my god, that shot looked money. It looked money. Whoa, now that thing is a giant. Unfortunately, we might not have gotten that last deer, but we definitely hit it, but we did not make a very good shot. This time, we're going to get closer, and we're going to go for maybe a 180-yard shot, and we'll see just what it does. Because we try for the 240-yard shot, and it did go down. We do have hunting pressure here, but this buck is massive. He's right over there. So we actually have to go all the way around. And by doing so, we should cross past where that white tail was standing. All right, so we know our big buck is over there. But unfortunately, 
when you can't quite spot it. Oh my god, there he is. So at this point, he's roughly 170 yards, which is absolutely perfect. Alright, let's go for the shot. Perfect shot. He's down. Right there. Now, as long as we didn't hit the spine, we should be good. But again, we want to track down this buck here first. Which I believe should have been right here. I mean, it was for surely a hit. I know that. But I'm not seeing any blood. Interesting. Well, would you look at that right there? We got our whitetail buck down here, and we actually couldn't find any blood anywhere. What we did is just came across this corner here, and I was looking down this valley to see if there wasn't any sign of this deer cutting across. And sure enough, there he was. Spotted him right over here on this ridge, and he's laying right here. This is the only reason we saw him, because he ended up piled up right on this little opening here. So you could actually see him from... Right up over there, that ridge, about 250 yards, and I believe that's where we spotted him from right there. But here he is. He was gold potential. He was guaranteed gold. And our shot. Oh. Oh. Just a little bit too high. 228 yards. And if we were to drop four inches, you're talking spine lung shot there all day. But still, that's good penetration. With the hollow points, it went right through that shoulder. Not bad. Not bad at all. And that looks like a vital hit. That's because it was. The fact that we can get double lung with the hollow points at 160 yards is absolutely game changing. And to me, I feel like there's no other option at this point. Like, why would you not want to use the hollow points? I mean, they have way more expansion and they have just as much penetration as you can see right there. That is incredible. And it's a giant 226 gold. So a 180 yard shot, clear pass through, like no problem at all on a massive whitetail buck. I mean, if that doesn't tell you what you should be using, I don't know what will. But that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you guys prefer the saw points or the hollow points for the 4570 lever action. Or even the 3030 Whitlock. Because honestly, at this point, I am absolutely hooked on the hollow points. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.